Hello and welcome to another Third Thursday. I'm Elliot and it's wonderful to see you all again this week. The theme this month is Leitare Sunday or Joy Sunday, which is also called Mother's Day. So this Sunday, make sure to be extra nice to your mothers. But before we get into that, if you're here live, drop a message down below and we'll say hello before the end of the stream. Now, Louisa and Sophie have sung us a beautiful song all about how our mothers and our carers can help lead us towards God. So we're going to check in and do the action with them now. Hello everyone! Hi! So as you can see, I'm not on my own today. I have Louisa here to help me because this song requires actions and I can't do the actions to hand it with a microphone, so I needed some help. So I've got Louisa. Yeah. So this song we're going to sing is quite a really cool song because it's all about our mums and since, since today we've been thinking about Mother's Day. So this song is all about how sometimes we may have some questions about things or our religion and we ask our mum these questions and our mum will always point us to God and because God always has the answer for us because he knows everything. So Louisa is going to explain the actions, aren't you Louisa? Yep, yeah. so it starts with where are you now? So you put your hands out like this. When darkness seems to win, so you're going to cover your eyes. Where are you now? Your hands back like this. When the world is crumbling. Do you think you can do that? So we're going to try, okay? Where are you now? When darkness seems to win. Where are you now? When the world is crumbling. Nice. And then you go, oh, I, 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 I hear you say, I hear you say. So you start off with, I, I, I hear you say, I hear you say. And then it goes, look up, child. So you go like this, and then it goes, hey. So we're going to go like this. And you need to scream hey as loud as you can. So look up, child. Hey, as loud as you can. Look up, child. Hey. And then we go, where are you now? Again. When all I feel is doubt. So thumbs down, you're feeling doubt. Where are you now? When I can't figure it out. So you can't figure it out. Perfect. You think you can do that? Right. On to the song.
Thank you, Louisa and Sophie. And thanks, Louisa, for those actions. And we'll see her again later. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's Leitare Sunday this coming Sunday. And it comes during a time of Lent when things can be difficult, especially when we give things up. And it can often be hard, it can often make us feel tired or worn out, especially me, I, I tend to feel, feel tired during Lent. However, we should rejoice this Sunday because on Leitare Sunday, we have a little bit of a break from the penances and from the hard things that we've been doing and have a bit of a rest. So it's quite a lovely Sunday actually. As Christians, we're always called to be joyous, even during Lent. And we can see this joy this Sunday when we go to Mass, if you go to Mass that is. And you will see the priest wearing rose vestments, which is brighter than the usual purple to show how happy and joyous they are. And now the Mass begins with the word Leitare, which just means rejoice in Latin. Now, being joyful, doesn't mean that we have to always feel happy. It just means that we have to be positive and loving to all we meet. And this is because Jesus rose for us, Jesus died for us and Jesus loves us. And so even when we're feeling sad, we can always remember that Jesus died for us and we can always turn our hearts to him, no matter how we feel. And we can always be loving to our neighbors. Now, sometimes on late Hari Sunday, people might eat things that they've given up for Lent. So say you've given up chocolate, you might have some chocolate. Let's say you've given up sweets, you might have some sweets. And let's say you've decided to wake up early in the morning, you might have a lion this Sunday. So it's quite a relaxing Sunday, it's quite nice. And one tradition on Leitari Sunday is to visit, if you can, the church where you were baptized. Now, Louisa, earlier went to see the church where she was baptized so we're going to join in and see how she got up to over in her church i'm here at sacred heart and st margaret mary church in Deerham, norfolk to visit the place i was baptized this is the font i was baptized in the priest would have poured water over my head when I was a baby. This made me a member of God's family. We think and remember this on Mothering Sunday because the church is a lot like our mother and at baptism we start our journey in the church. When you're baptised, your godparents make promises of faith for you, so I'm now going to express my faith with a short prayer. Thank you, Louisa, for showing us around your church and I hope you got home all right. It seemed quite dark out there, so hopefully you managed to make it back. And hello to all saints in March year four. It's wonderful to see you all again. And I hear that some of you are watching at home, so hello, thank you for tuning in even when you're at home. And hello to Hamish as well, who's watching at home. And now, as I mentioned earlier, this Sunday, Latare Sunday, is also called Mother's Day. And we remember our mothers and our carers, or those that look after us at home, especially on this Sunday. And we can show them how joyous we are that they are around us and that they care for us. Now, one of the reasons why this Sunday is Mother's Sunday is because people often think of the church as a mother. This is because the church looks after us. The church teaches us right from wrong and it teaches us um, how to be loving and caring to others, a bit like our mothers. And perhaps this Mother's Day, you might buy your mother some flowers or some chocolate or do something extra special for them to show them how grateful you are that they are around. And my mother might be watching this live as well. So hello, mother. Um, thank you for being my mother, I guess. <laughs> and of course, this Sunday is Mother's Sunday and one of the Ten Commandments is to honour your mother and father. So let's do that in a very special way this Sunday. Now, there's many reasons to rejoice this Sunday, as we've already mentioned. It's coming to the end of Lent. There's about four weeks left of Lent, we're about halfway, so you can rejoice that you've made it so far already. And if you've started to slip on some of the things that you wanted to do, you've still got chance to change and do what you wanted to do during Lent. And so you can rejoice about that. We can also rejoice in the fact that the church is our mother 
And finally, we can rejoice in the fact that our mothers and our carers look after us and love us so much. Now, we're going to go over to Sophie, who's going to sing about how much she loves the church that she grew up in. And while watching the video, try and see if you can find the church that you grew up in as well. Thank you, Sophie, for that song. And hello to Christo, who says hi in the chat. And now with the end of that song comes the start of our prayer time. And we're really fortunate this week, we've got Father Luke back again, and he's going to lead us in a time of prayer. And he's gonna be wearing his beautiful pink vestments because it's Leitare Sunday this Sunday. And he's in his church down in Ipswich. So we can say hello to him and join him in a time of prayer now. Hello everyone, welcome to St Mark's, my parish church, where I'm broadcasting from today. If you don't know me, I'm Father Luke, and I'm chaplain to the youth service and the Ignite team. And it's my pleasure to conclude our third Thursday assembly together with this time of prayer. You'll notice that I'm wearing a rose or pink coloured stole. And this, of course, is because we've been thinking about the fourth week of Lent, the fourth Sunday of Lent, Leitare Sunday, or 
Joy Sunday, which we will celebrate this weekend. And we wear this colour, not everyone, but some people wear this colour, and sometimes you see a few flowers in church, just because we're, we're past the halfway mark and we're getting closer to Easter. So we've got to go through the sadness of Jesus' suffering and death. But once we get through that sadness, we will share in the joy of his resurrection and the beautiful Easter celebrations. So at the end of this third Thursday, let's just still ourselves and prepare ourselves to pray. Let's make the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's say together the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, in a few weeks' time we will celebrate the suffering and death of your Son, Jesus. Help us to keep firm in faith through this sad time, so that we may enter into the joy and the glory of the resurrection at Easter. Keep us close to Jesus, so that we may know him more, and be the joyful people that you call each and every one of us to be. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace and joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Father Luke. It's wonderful to see you again. And now at the end of that time of prayer comes the end of another third Thursday. But it's been wonderful seeing you all again this month and we hope that you're all doing well. We'll see you again after Easter and so don't eat too many Easter eggs. And remember that Easter is about Jesus as well as Easter eggs, but mainly about Jesus. But until then, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.